Alright, after you've finished coding your mod and you're all happy with it, the next step is to save it so that other people can install it, so that you can give it to other people. And this is called re-obfuscating. So you're going to go into your MCP folder again and open up a terminal window. You're going to do CD space drag in MCP again like we did before. Press enter. And now you're going to type in bash. And all you have to do is drag in this called reobfuscate.sh and press enter. So basically what this does is it goes and finds all the code that you edited and it um, outputs um, only the parts of the code that you changed so that you can give it to other people. See it'll say new class found, modified class found and here it'll basically it lists all the things that it discovered that you changed and then it's finished. So after it's finished you go into the folder in MCP called reobf R -E -O -B -F, and then into Minecraft and here you will have a bunch of classes. The number of classes in this folder varies uh, depending on how many classes you changed in your mod and how you made your mod and stuff. But basically this is this is your mod now. So you can give this to other people and they can install it. And I'll show you quickly how to install it. What you have to do is you do a new finder window. Go to your home folder like we did before into library, application support, Minecraft, and then go into your bin in Minecraft and right click on the uh, .jar file that says, that's called minecraft.jar right click and we're going to say open with archive utility so that basically unzips it and then go in and what you're going to do is you're going to copy your mod from the reob folder in uh, MCP we're going to copy these items and then all you have to do is paste them, oops, paste them into your um, your unzipped Minecraft jar and then it'll, um, um, almost always I think it'll say do you want to replace and you'll say yes replace, 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 replace and then it's done. Now before you put it back together you have to scroll down and you have to find a folder called meta-inf. Uh, Oh, crap. Um, mine isn't here. I already deleted it. Sorry, guys. But uh, here, if you you will find a folder that says meta-inf, all in caps, and all you have to do is just select it and delete it. Okay? It's pretty simple. Just delete it. Um, if you don't delete it, your game will, uh, when you try to start Minecraft, it'll, ha it'll just get stuck at a black screen. So, and then what you want to do is you want to select all the items in this Minecraft folder in the unzipped Minecraft jar and you're gonna right click and say compress items and it'll come up with this zip folder called archive.zip just drag that back out of this Minecraft see um, this is um, this is a little bit confusing but this is the Minecraft.jar when I opened it with archive utility it made this folder and that's where I was working in until now see that's the one with all the classes in that's where you paste your mod and then you compress everything in this folder. You delete the meta inf, meta dash inf uh, folder in here, and then you compress this folder to get this. Okay, but I don't think it works if you just right click on the folder and uh, try to compress it. You actually have to go in and you have to select everything inside and compress it. Okay, so after you compressed it, you're gonna want to rename this. Oh, sorry, rename your Minecraft.jar. Call it backup. Oh crap, it's already taken. Okay, delete the other backup then. Backup. And then your archive.zip, you're going to name it minecraft.jar. Would you like to use .zip or .jar? And you say, I would like to use .jar. Okay, and there your mod's been installed. So, all you have to do is you open up Minecraft and log in. Mojang. Okay, and. I will now prove to you that it has been installed. Watch. If you remember, um, I made a mod where you get 64 wood from one log, and oh my god, it works. I also had a mod, in, uh, I also uh, included a mod where if you put one piece of dirt into a crafting grid, you get a new item with no name, but it's a new item nonetheless. Anyway, that's how you use MCP, yeah, everyone. Um, and yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. So, 
I showed you how to set up MCP and how to use MCP in the next couple of tutorials. I have some tutorials on how to make your own uh, crafting recipes, how to make your own uh, furnace recipes. Um, in five minutes from now, I'm going to record a tutorial on how to make your own block, which a lot of you have been asking for. And then, uh, 15 minutes after that, I will make a tutorial on how to make your own items. Because a lot of you have been asking that for that too. And, yeah, wow, look at all this wood I have. I just feel like setting it on fire or something. Anyway, please subscribe if you like these tutorials. I'll come up with a bunch more. And, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.